What's happening, all you hip, cool cats? My name is Kit. Welcome to Chicago Reacts, and today we got ourselves a fun YouTube video to react to. But before we do, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way you're made aware when we upload new content onto our YouTube channel. So, uh, without further ado, what's the video that we're going to be reacting to today? Well, grab yourself a nice tasty snack and a tasty beverage, because we're going to be reacting to Warhammer 40k content. So... For those of you who have been with us since the beginning, it's a rarity for me to react to Warhammer 40k content because, well, I've seen a lot of it, but I've recently heard that there's a new trailer for Space Marine 2, the gameplay reveal trailer. So, I'm really excited for this. Um, it has to deal with the Ultramarines, one of my favorite Space Marine chapters. So, anytime I get a chance to talk about Warhammer content, I'm going to jump on it, especially if it's brand new. Um, but if this is stuff that you'd like us to react to, please type in the comment section below. Um, I'm a huge fan of it, but the way we run things here at Chicago Reacts, we want to make sure that we're reacting to videos that we haven't seen, stuff that we're not familiar with. But I got the green light with this trailer right here, so I'm really excited for it. I don't know what we're in store for, so um, I'm really excited for this. This is, this is like, like, I'm really happy about this because it has to do with Ultramarines, the realm of uh, Ultramar. Long live the 500 worlds. The Emperor protects and so much more. So um, let's see what lies in store for us. And plus, uh, again, when it comes down to all the great stuff that we see from Warhammer 40K, um, like I like to react to more of it. If this is something you want me or any of the other reactors to do, any kind of science fiction or fantasy, uh, please let us know. Um, yeah, and give us your feedback because if we want our channel to grow, and we want to keep on doing good content for all of you, our viewers and subscribers. We need feedback from you. So let us know what you think. And uh, let's go ahead and first pull up this trailer. So let me go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is first play the trailer in its full entirety. I will not pause it. And if there's, uh, if there's some time, I might be able to play it again, just maybe nearing the end. So that way we can enjoy it. So there we go. And I'm like to at least break down, maybe see things that I haven't seen or maybe point out some things that maybe stood out. So there you go. All right. So without further ado, let's hit that play button. Ooh. Yo! Ah! We are the defenders <laughs> of mankind against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. Whoa. Yo! Breath, we stand. While we stand, we fight. Holy. <laughs> Yo! We are the angels of death. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Nothing Holy cow. will survive our wrath. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to play it again one more time, and then I'm going to give my little breakdown. Just, I just want to make sure I confirm things. Plus, holy shit, that was fucking awesome! We are the defenders of mankind. Okay. Against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. Oh my god. While we draw breath, we stand. While okay. we stand, we fight. Perfect. We are the angels of death. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Glorious. Nothing will survive our wrath. Okay, so let's do some little bit of wibbly wobbly, timely wibbly stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and first rewind. There's some there's a few things that stood out to me. So here's what I'm gonna ask for my fellow Warhammer 40k enthusiasts those that are more knowledgeable than me. Uh, look, 
I like to say that I'm very familiar and I love Warhammer 40K, but I'm nowhere near to the power levels of people like uh, Baldemort, Wolf Lord uh, Roe, Luton09, uh, Major Kill, uh, 40K Theories, um, and again, uh, so many others. There, there, there's many other Warhammer 40K content, YouTube content creators that really know the entire true lore of Warhammer 40K. So if there's anything that I've missed, I'm going to ask my fellow Warhammer 40K enthusiasts, hey, you missed this, you missed this, but there's some things that stood out. So first, uh, in regards to the gameplay, let's let's first check this part out right here. Hold on. Okay, so alpha footage, obviously subject to change. If this is what the player is seeing, first and foremost, when they're being immersed in the game and they're actually playing the game, there's no cutscene or anything. This is what we're seeing. The attention to detail of a city, of a world, being at siege by the Tyranid hive mind. It's absolutely incredible and breathtaking. Uh, breathtaking. Uh, so there you go. Um, I'm impressed. We are the defenders of mankind. So, okay, um, right off the bat, I know that that's Captain Titus now, Lieutenant Titus. So at least from what I can ascertain, he survived his interrogation uh, of the Imperial Inquisition because Leonidas, that motherfucker, uh, ratted him out and he was being interrogated by the Imperial Inquisition. So it looks like now... Wait. Is he a Primaris? Okay, viewing audience, I'm talking to you. That's right. Stop eating the sandwich. Put it down for a second. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you for a second. Um, does the game Space Marine take place in the main current Warhammer 40K timeline? Is it like a story or like some sort of uh, alternate timeline? Um, or is it part of the main universe? Because I think Titus might have crossed the Rubicon. He looks like uh, a lieutenant uh, Space Marine. So for those of you who follow Warhammer 40K uh, or Games Workshop on Instagram, there was, I think, uh, an ongoing uh, meme or statement of, hey, have you checked out the uh, Lieutenant Primaris? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, but I guess Captain Titus is now Lieutenant Titus. And I'm now wondering if the game will go into detail of what happened to him and where his standing is in with the Ultramarines chapter. But I think he's a Primaris. I, I think. If I'm wrong, type it in the comment section below. We do read it. So if there's, if I'm wrong, just say, hey, buddy, you're way off. And against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. Okay. Look at the power of that Warhammer. Just breaking through the Tyranids. You know what this tells me in the game right here? You are going to be in unending combat. There will not be a moment of reprieve or rest. If you're facing off against hordes of enemies, you're going to be facing off against hordes of enemies and then more. And that's something any fan of the Warhammer 40k community is going to want. And that is unending combat and destroying your enemies. And as an Ultramarine, I'm going to say this. You, you, you lousy Tyranids, you gene stealers, you, you thought you could take out the world of Macrab? Nah, that's not how it worked in the first Tyrannic War. Ultramar prevailed. While we draw breath, we stand. Okay, this right here too. Just one thing uh, uh, I want to point out. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Uh, that wasn't it. Okay, right here. Okay, so um, for those of you who may not remember, I was uh, I, I used to play uh, Deathwing or Deshwing, as I called it, on our Chicago Plays Twitch channel. And uh, from what I remember, and even playing the Warhammer 40k games like uh, Dawn of War, Dawn of War: Winter Assault, and Dark Crusade, plasma weaponry was always blue, even in Deathwing too, right? Um, but I think, and if I'm wrong, just to say, hey, you're wrong, I think that's a Melta weapon. 
It doesn't look blue. I don't think that's a plasma weapon. It looks like a different type. And you know what? I am truly now wondering what kind of other treasure trove of firearms and heavy weapons we'll be using to kill off the foul Xenos. So hold on, let's 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 rewind that and play it again. While we stand, we fight. Hold on. One thing right here. I know I'm saying hold on a lot. Bear with me. Okay. If this is the world that the character is playing in and fighting, I have two questions. Is this going to be like how it was in, fir in the first Space Marine where it's level by level? Or is this the kind of game where it's like an open sandbox and you play the game however you feel like? Um, and the only thing I could bring in comparison to this is uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, right? Where obviously you're playing as Link and you can play the game however which way you want, but the world is open. The world's your oyster. I am wondering, with the amount of, well, space that we're seeing, is everything all linear, or is this like a true open world, and you could do or play the game however you want freely? Um, if that's the case, holy cow, this game will probably be a work of art. It'll be a nice espacia meatball, and I could say that because I'm Italian. <laughs> Right there, destructive environments, and here, something I, I, I saw before, facing off against hordes of enemy and so much gore with a chainsword. Oh, right there, right there, right there. That. The jump. The jump. The jump. Glorious. And that's a more deserved jump instead of the Space Marine jumping in Terminator armor in Dawn of War 3. By the way, folks, in my mind, and I don't give a crap what Games Workshop says, direct eye contact. Dawn of War 3 is not canon in my mind. Okay. General Van Stubbs won Soulstorm, okay? Borealum. <laughs> I was uh I was watching a lot of the memes and people play some gameplay of uh Soulstorm and I, I did some little read ups on it and apparently it was a game with a lot of glitches. Um but yes. Uh <laughs> I'll always root for the Imperial Guard, but uh yeah, I saw I saw a couple of games of people playing uh, Soulstorm, and yes, that game is so old, so old right now. But um, Dawn of War three, how the hell can a Terminator jump? How how can somebody in Terminator armor jump? We R oh right there, hold on. We Okay, so you're facing off against like a seasoned veteran or like a um a higher tier warrior of the hive mind. And just look at that right there. Straight on combat. Oui. You like parry off against it with the chainsword. That's incredible right there. Are the angels of death. We're mm, one other thing here too. Okay, so First, that power sword of death. was incredible, seeing it destroy the enemies. But there's a little blue light there. I saw it in the first two times I played the trailer, right? That blue light there. From what I remember from Space Marine 1, the first game, before, again, Leonidas ratted out our boy from the Inquisition, um, he touched an energy source... Um, and if anyone else was to touch it, um, they were to die, but Titus survived it. And that's why he was being interrogated. Um, that's why he was being questioned by the Inquisition. And 
so I have to wonder now, is Titus still, is this story going to still focus on the fact that he was immune to that energy source? Is this why the Tyranids are invading the world here? Because somebody tr tried to do the same thing in the previous game. Is Titus being sanctioned by the Ultramarines to find out what happened, why he's immune to that power? I mean, we have to know what... Uh, something happened. He lost his rank as being captain, and now he is a lieutenant. So I just want to know what happens to the future of Lieutenant Titus, who I guess could be a Primaris Space Marine. And whether or not this is just like an energy generator for like the City Hive or something else, if this is an engine schematic that you, the Warhammer 40K, is familiar with, please type it in the comment section just so that way we know. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Nothing. And this scene right here encompasses everything about Warhammer 40K. A battlefield that is scarred, facing down thousands upon thousands of foul enemies of the Imperium. Aerial combat, bombardment, artillery fire, explosions in the background. Hope is the first pass of disappointment. And here you have one lone space marine an Ultramarine from the realm of Ultramar on the planet of Macrab, facing off against the hordes of the foul Tyranids. This is peak Warhammer 40k content right here. This is a peak Warhammer 40k game. I know that recently Dark Tide came out, and I, as a Warhammer 40k fan, I am really excited that there's a game. I, th this is a game where I would have to make time, where I will have to make the time to play this freaking game. I'm really excited for it. It looks like a lot of fun. And hopefully uh, it'll be very immersive and something in which all the players, even people who are not familiar with Warhammer 40K, can enjoy for hours and upon hours of fun. I mean, and I'm, I'm really excited about any kind of backstory or lore to it. So that's just glorious. We'll just rewind that. There you go. Nothing will survive our wrath. That's what you call a nice spice of meatball. So it's for the PS5, Xbox, and PC. Glorious. Okay. That was a lot to unpack. I really enjoyed it. That was a fun trailer to react to. It's a rarity for me to react to Warhammer 40k content. Um, if there's anything I missed or if there's anything I got wrong or maybe I didn't explain thoroughly enough to my fellow Warhammer 40k enthusiasts, please let me know. Please type it in the comment section below. Um, and if this is the kind of stuff you want me or the other reactors to react to, whether it's fantasy, science fiction, action, etc., please give us your feedback. Um... Are you ready for this game? Are you excited for it? Um, are you curious about kind of uh, any kind of questions uh, that were left open at the end of the first game? Give 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 us your feedback. Let's let's have this ongoing conversation. I'm really excited on what's going to happen. It's going to come out in 2023, so I'm looking forward to playing Space Marine. Space Marines two. So there you go. Um. And it's good to see Titus again. Um, but probably going through the interrogation from the Inquisition, he's probably not the same Titus we know from the first game. So, <sighs> so many questions, but we'll only find out the answers to them if we buy and play the game. So, number one, what did we learn here? Long live the God Emperor of Mankind. Uh, number two, long live the Imperium. Number three, long live the realm of Ultramar and the 500 worlds. Long live the Lord Commander of the Imperium, Reboot Gilliman, Primarch of the 13th Legion. Long live the Ultramarines. The Emperor protects. All right. That being said, folks, I had a lot of fun. 
And no matter where you're at, no matter what time of day is, morning, afternoon, or evening, I want you to keep on winning. Take care, folks. Oh, 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 oh,